Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Forgive my appearance and surroundings a little bit today. It was a refit day, so I have not showered yet um, after my workout. And also it's cleaning and baking day in here. But I was just so excited because yesterday, our entire first grade of Becca homeschool curriculum came in the mail. This is has been our first year of homeschooling and it's been wonderful. We have absolutely loved K-5 this year. And when it comes that time for Brayden, I'm hoping that we will get to use that for him too. Keeping an open mind and uh, we'll kind of wait and see when he gets to that level. But I wanted to unbox our first grade curriculum. We bought the entire tuition plus books, materials that come with it, all of that kind of stuff plus a few extra things that um, we kind of wish we had ordered for K-5 that we can use in the future. Um, so yeah, so let's jump right into it. This is, if you can see, it's a lot. I have this, it's four boxes. I have this one, this long one, and then two big ones that I'll open here in a sec. Um, but let's get going. I already cut this open. And on top we have, oh, it's heavy. <laughs> we have, let's see. Oh. Right here, this looks like letters and sounds. This is the test key. Ooh, tests. And letters and sounds is like basically phonics. And all this stuff is going right back in the box so we can keep it until school starts. Because we don't start until um, August. Uh, but we just ordered it at the convention and I thought they were going to send it closer to our start date because we told them when we were going to start. Um, but they went ahead and sent it. So looks like test key for letters and sounds, the tests for letters and sounds, arithmetic, <laughs> arithmetic one test and speed drill key. <clears throat> oh, wow. Speed drills. I think that's great for homeschoolers <laughs> to have some speed drills. And here's the actual speed drills here. And this is writing with phonics. We have been using the uh, the cursive for K5, and it's been going amazing for Caleb. He's he's a natural. <laughs> but this is looks like the the little blanks are a lot smaller than they are in K5. Because you're not writing big cursive, you're writing it a little bit smaller. Um, but these are all handwriting sheets. So there's that. And oh man, this is huge. <laughs> this is the video manual. Basically, this this is the key to everything. This shows you every single lesson, what they're doing in each subject, so you can, you know, prepare but also have certain worksheets ready to go. And by the way, for this year, our plan is for the, I don't know if we're gonna do it for all of the books, definitely the consumables, so the books that they, like the workbooks. I'm actually gonna take these to Office Depot or Staples or something and have them take the binding off and put a spiral on it just to control the worksheet mag madness. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is, like I said, this is the video guide and incredibly important to have. Um, yeah, this, this gets every parent ready. Um, so, okay, so there's that. And this is the second box. This is, um, this is not for first grade, this is for K-5, and I wish we had ordered these. These are blend ladders, and they're really big because they're designed for a classroom. But um, basically you could see them learning to put the sounds together, ba, ba, bi, ba, ba, or baby, bi, bo, boo. And uh, yeah, so that's, there's, I don't know how many there are in here, but there are a lot, and it looks like, Oh, and they're double-sided as well. So, yes, very excited about that. That was one thing. We should have just ordered it in the middle of the year, but thought, oh, it'll be fine. And now that I'm at the end of the year, I'm like, I want to post these, not all of them, but I want to post a lot of them on the wall. I think it'll be good just to have. And we've got plenty of wall space. Not that we want to fill up every inch of it, but yeah, I really wish we'd had those. Now I have these... Oh my goodness, this book, or this box, 
and this box. This is probably DVDs. Let's just bust into this. This is a lot more. I'm pretty sure all of K5 came in one box like this and another small box. And this was also like $200 more expensive. So I'm not gonna lie, it was, it was a kind of a shock. I guess we didn't realize how much it was gonna be. So that was, yeah. But um, thankfully we were prepared um, for that. In here, I'll just pull this whole thing up if I can. This looks like DVDs and some flashcards that we ordered. So I'll put these ooh, up here <laughs> on this other box. Okay, so here we have the DVDs. We have one through 60, lessons one through 60 here. And hmm, let's see, 61 to 120. They're brothers DVDs for school. Yeah, and 121 to 170. And if you don't know about Abeka, when you finish with the DVDs for the year, you have to send them back. So it's not something you get to keep forever. You're definitely renting. And these are different flash cards. This is clue word cards. And honestly, I don't know what that is because that's a first grade thing. So that, that automatically came blend practice cards. Okay, we got two boxes of the blend practice cards. I'm gonna go ahead and open those because these actually go with K5. They, they're they extras. Like if we were doing parent-led, like instead of watching the DVDs, these would have come. But here, I'll just give you an example. It's just flashcards with blends on them. So they're staff and plea. So yeah, that's another thing throughout the year I kind of wish we had had. And so that's why we decided to order them. So there's one, two boxes of the blend practice cards. That was an extra. And here we have homeschool combination dot cards. And this is first grade. So uh, yeah, this automatically, oh, wait. This did not come with it. We were looking at the extra materials and thinking of other things we wanted to get. So this did not come with it. So that's new. Never seen these before. And then place value concept charts and cards. Oh, just cards. Okay. And they're that big just to give you an idea. And then one thing that I wish we had had in K5, and this is just a note, other parents, if you're just, do I really need, do I need everything that comes with it? Do I need extras? You don't, but there are some things that I wish we had had, and especially stuff like this. Now, obviously he has, isn't learning multiplication yet, but I wish we had charts, number charts to reference for the wall. And so we, we bought this, this was extra. All right, and then this was an extra because we saw it in person, we thought this is really cool, but it's numbers, charts, and games. That. And then this was also an extra basic phonics charts. Another thing that I wish we had had for the wall. Uh, and some of this, uh, this is, yeah, this is grades one through three. And so this, this was an extra thing that we purchased. And uh, just because I, I just wish we had had more charts throughout the year, things that he can reference. And the last box, and this is, woo, fling and rubber bands. flash my address. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Hmm. All right, on the top here, and I, I have no idea if this is any sort of order or not, probably just size order, but this is community helpers, and this is probably part of skills development. Wow, this is really nice. Abeka has some of the prettiest printing. They're beautiful colors. When I was a homeschooler as a, as a student, I loved, I didn't love Abeka, but I didn't love any curriculum really. <laughs> um, but I preferred Abeka because the pictures are so nice. This is My America and My World. Little history book. Oh, this is so, it's just so nice. So nice. 
And this is Health, Safety, and Manners. Oh, this is a reader. Okay. See, you brush your teeth and stuff like that. Super cute. This is Discovering God's World. This is Science. And then Bible Friends Activity Book. And this is for seat work. Seat work is a portion of the video that um, we don't do all of it. I let him skip some things that he's already really good at so we can move on with things. Um, but the Bible, this looks very similar to what we have in K5. Uh, some little Bible coloring sheets and worksheets and uh, mazes and that kind of thing. So that looks a little bit harder than what we've been working with. This is arithmetic one. This is the teacher manual. And this is what I'm hoping to do with most of the books this year is to get them bound with this spiral. And this is arithmetic one. This is a big one. This is his math workbook. And um, yeah, everything's in color. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. And this is first grade writing tablet. I think this is, yeah, just mostly blank sheets and another first grade right oh my goodness there's two three first grade writing tablets gracious wow okay spelling and poetry one i have not even seen this before um okay it's some bible verses some poetry all right stuff like this and language, this is more grammar. This is the teacher key and seat work text. Yeah, this is the teacher key for language. And here is his workbook for language. Now I'm looking through this, I'm like, oh, this is why it was a lot more expensive than last year. <laughs> uh, here is letters and sounds, first grade, phonics seat work, um, teacher key and letters and sounds, phonics, seat work, text. Yeah, and if I know this year, they're not necessarily gonna do all of these books at once. They're gonna go through periods where they work on some and then they're gonna kind of move to the next one and the next one. So it's not like they're gonna be doing all of these books every single day. That would be a bit much. Uh, this is reading one, the answer key. Oh, yeah. And then these are the readers that they said this is one of the reasons why first grade is more expensive because look at all of these readers we get <clears throat> Aesop's fables kind and brave secrets and surprises I mean these are pretty good size stepping stones tiptoes and fun with pets Ooh, there's more there's a handbook for reading so it looks like a kind of a reference book sort of Primary Bible reader. That is very nice. Animals and the Great Outdoors. Down by the Sea. And Strong and True. So different, different themes. And we have art projects for first grade. And uh, yeah, uh, we've done mm, maybe like two thirds of these this year. Sometimes we don't always have time for it or yeah, um, but it's a, it's a lot of fun things. Caleb loves it. And the last thing in here is, oh, huh, okay. The cursive formation flashcards. I actually did not know this came in here. We already have this on our wall that we got from K5. So maybe I'll sell it. We'll see. So that is everything for first grade Abeka Homeschool. This is with uh, tuition, meaning the DVDs. This is... Uh, all of the workbooks, uh, the textbooks, the answer keys, flashcards, kind of everything that we will need for first grade. Other than that, I mean, this this is it. Uh, you know, pencils and crayons, you know, and scissors and glue. I mean, but that's that's really it. So uh, I can't even think about first grade now. K five is still underway, and uh, we're ready for summer. It's been great, but we're ready for summer. So if you enjoyed this, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe. If you are a homeschooler out there, let me know what curriculum you are using for the 2018, 2019, what? I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.